Hi, I'm Natalie. Welcome to Class Cuisine. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Costco Marie Morin Creme Brulee. This is a classic Costco item that I'm pretty sure I remember having as a kid, but I know for sure that it's been on and off at Costco for the last three or four years. You can find this in the refrigerated dessert section at Costco, which is also usually by the cheese, the deli meat, and the fresh pasta. I paid $10.99 Canadian for the eight 105 gram jars of creme brulee, and each creme brulee comes in its own individual glass dish. The best before date listed on my box of creme brulee is just over a month from the date that I purchased them. The box states that they can't be frozen, so you need to keep them in the refrigerator. It also states that you should uh, store them upright, so if you have room in your refrigerator, make sure that you don't tip them or store them on their side. Each individual creme brulee comes in a glass jar with a foil lid and a sugar packet on top. To prepare the creme brulee, all you have to do is remove your foil top, open your packet of sugar, spread the sugar evenly on top of the creme brulee, and then there's two different ways on how you can heat the sugar on top of the creme brulee. And the first method is the oven method. The oven method involves moving your rack in your oven to the very top of your oven, setting your oven on to broil, and putting the creme brulee on an oven safe dish or baking pan, popping it into the oven for 45 to 60 seconds, and then removing it from the oven uh, once the sugar starts to melt a little bit. You don't wanna go over a minute because then the sugar will just become liquid. The torch method involves uh, moving your torch two to three centimeters across your creme brulee with the sugar on top and letting the sugar melt until it's a golden brown dark color. Whichever method you choose, whether it be the oven method or the torch method, you wanna let your creme brulee sit for about two to three minutes just so that it's not really hot when you are ready to eat it. I'm going to be using the torch method to heat my sugar on top of my creme brulee uh, for two reasons. I find the torch method really fun and the other reason is that I specifically bought this torch a few years ago uh, with the creme brulee, not at Costco, but I bought a torch specifically for the creme brulee and we don't use it that much, so I'm just gonna take any opportunity I can to use it. I removed the foil lid off camera because it's a little bit hard to get off cleanly. Um, now I'm going to sprinkle my sugar packet on top of my creme brulee and use my torch, which is always fun. This is a very fun dessert from Costco. There's a generous amount of sugar in here, like it does pretty much cover the top of the creme brulee. There's not a lack of topping, that's for sure. And I'm just trying to do it as evenly as possible. Okay, torch time. Bear with me as this takes a little bit of strength. So my sugar is just getting nice and dark brown, golden brown. You can see it melting. It smells good. And you don't want to overdo it. So that's good. I gave my creme brulee a minute to cool down and grabbed a spoon and now I'm ready to try it. Here's what my creme brulee looks like. If you can see, it's nice and melted. The sugar is melted and it's definitely got a crust on top, which I know a lot of people really like with creme brulee. Okay. Here we go. We haven't had these for a few years and I'm just reminded of how good they are. It's very smooth and creamy, light, not too sweet. Um, definitely a lot of vanilla flavor. The Sugar coating 
isn't too sweet, but it adds sweetness to the creme brulee. Um, and I think that the fact that they didn't go sugar heavy on the custard is actually really nice because the added sweetness is just kind of like an extra burst of flavor on your taste buds. Really delightful, fancy, tastes like almost restaurant quality creme brulee, but at a fraction of the price and fun to have at home. I really, really enjoy it. It would be awesome after a dinner party or to just have after a really nice meal at home. So I definitely love the flavor of this. I have a few more thoughts to share with you about the flavor of the creme brulee after taking a few more bites. So the caramelized sugar on top adds really nice additional crunch um, to the creme brulee, but what it also adds is a really nice caramel flavor. If you've ever had melted sugar before, you'll know that kind of distinct caramel flavor, which really adds to the uh, custard because the custard is, is a pretty plain vanilla flavor. So that additional caramel flavor complements it really well. Also the texture of the creme brulee is similar to that of like a very firm pudding or maybe a watery mousse. It's not too hard and it's definitely not runny. Uh, so it's a really nice texture and it sticks to the spoon very easily as you can see. For one container of creme brulee, including the sugar, there are 260 calories, 19 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbohydrates, zero grams of fiber, 16 grams of sugar, 65 milligrams of sodium, and four grams of protein. The ingredients listed for the Costco Marie Morin creme brulee are pretty typical for what you'd expect to find in a creme brulee, cream, sugar, and eggs. There are a few preservative sounding ingredients listed on the list. And I think those are probably added to extend the shelf life of the creme brulee. When I think back over the years and how many different Costco products I've reviewed, this is definitely a memorable one. Not just because I like the flavor, but because of how fun it is to make your creme brulee. It definitely has a novelty factor. Some people might find that they're kind of turned off by the amount of glassware that comes in the pack and also the amount of packaging. But the glassware is really important to deliver that real creme brulee experience and let you, you know, use your, your torch or pop it into the oven to caramelize the sugar. I think no matter if you're somebody who really loves creme brulee or you're someone that's trying it for the first time, the Costco creme brulee is delicious. It's almost as good as restaurant quality creme brulee, maybe not quite there, but this is definitely a must buy item from Costco. That's it for my review of the Costco Marie Morin creme brulee. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like to see more Costco food reviews, visit my blog, costcuisine.com. You can follow me on social media by searching Cost Cuisine on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned as I keep eating my way through Costco for you.